So today what we're going to do is find out if we can flash one of these so that it works with HomeKit. A special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a supporter of the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to TechnoDad Life and my name is Jeff and here we make technology simplified. And so today's uh, tutorial is not for the faint of heart. So today what we're going to be doing is trying to flash one of these into one of these. Oh, I meant into one of these, but it works on HomeKit. And so as you can tell by this, uh, I had a few disasters and let's just say this sort of works now, but we'll go through all the steps that I got us there. So the plug that we're going to be using is this GoSun dual outlet because I live and work in buildings that are over 100 years old, so there's not very many outlets, so we have to double up our outlets when we can. And then what we're going to be using is Tuva Convert. We're going to be using the Tasmoda template, and we're going to be installing this ESP HomeKit devices onto our plug. Now, if this hasn't scared you yet, it should, because uh, obviously I've done a few of these, and it is a work in progress of how to do it. But I'll show you that right now. So the first thing you need to do is download Raspberry Pi Imager, get a micro SD card, put it in your card reader and plug it into your computer. Go to Raspberry Pi Imagers, choose OS, click on Other, and then we want this 32-bit light. Click on that, choose our SD card, and then write. And this is the first of many cups of coffee today. Once that's done, click continue and close that. And then go, for, go to File Explorer. And then click on our boot drive. We're going to right click, click on new, and then text document. And we're going to just type in SSH and then click out of that and so this is so we can SSH into our Raspberry Pi and then once we're done with that we can eject it. So for this next part you're going to need a Raspberry Pi and I did this on Raspberry Pi 3B's and Raspberry Pi 4's. I found it worked much better on a Raspberry Pi 4 so I suggest starting with that. And then we're going to need a Gosun WP2, which is the two outlet uh, device here. And so how you can say, tell it's a WP2 is it says right here on the back, but I'll also leave a link in the description to these if you wanna do this tutorial using the same plug. Next, insert our SD card into a Raspberry Pi. You'll need an ethernet plugin, and then you can power it on. Now you need to give that a few minutes to boot up, so time for another cup of coffee. So now you can see our Raspberry Pi is up and running, so we're going to go to our router, get the IP address of our Raspberry Pi, copy that, open up PuTTY and paste that in, and then click open, and then yes, and log in as Pi and Raspberry. Hit enter. Next, copy and paste from the directions down below, sudo apt-get update and and sudo apt-get upgrade. Hit enter. Time for some more coffee. Okay, so once that's done, now we're going to be starting Tuva Convert. And so Tuva Convert is an open source piece of software that flashes has the ability to flash different firmware to your devices. So the way that people used to flash different firmware to their devices was actually soldering wires on and hooking it up to a computer. And so if you want to do that, actually, what I would suggest is 
taking a Dremel, just going along the side here and then across the top and then this piece will come off and then you have nice easy access to the flashing area which is right which is right here on this device hard to see so here you can see it says tx rx ground uh, 100 and 3.5 volts there and so to do that you would need uh, tasmodo so tasmodo is what two year convert is based off of but with two year convert it's all wireless so you don't actually need to solder on any wires or anything like that you just need a plug and you need to set it into Wi-Fi mode. So let's install two year convert now. So first we're going to clear our screen. We need to install network manager and Git. You don't officially need to install network manager, but for me that just worked better. So I'm doing that. Then hit enter and then yes. Once that's done, type in clear. That will clear our screen. Now we're going to install Tuva Convert or Tuya Convert. And then uh, copy and paste this from the directions get clone, HTTPS, GitHub, open source, Tuya Convert. Hit enter. Change directory, di change directory to Tuva Convert. And then install. Hit enter. And time for more coffee. Once that's done installing, type in ls a. Hit enter. Now to flash this to be HomeKit compatible, we have to add in the Raven system ESP file. And so the Raven ESP HomeKit devices file uses the home accessory architecture and flashes that to your device. To do this, we have to download this full HH8 boot bin to our Tuva Convert. And so where we want that to go is into our files folder. So we're going to change directory to files. Then we're going to wget https github raven system latest download full boot dot bin hit enter. Now change directory dot dot hit enter. And so we went back to the Tuva convert folder. Then type in dot slash start flash sh and this will start the program. Hit enter. And then now here comes the fun part where you can actually destroy des devices. So uh, be careful what you type. So type in yes and then enter. And then we're going to type yes to all these. So it's going to close any that are causing port problems. Now, if it fails to work the first time, just run it again. So again, type in dot slash flash, hit enter, and then yes. So for this next part, you have to get on a different device and you have to connect to the VTrust flash network. I have no idea why, but that's just the way it works. So once you've done that, Plug in your device and we want it to get into rapid flashing mode. So we generally press the one of the buttons for about 10 seconds. Okay, so that is rapid flashing mode. And sometimes this happens right away. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times before it connects. But make sure you have the device right next to your Raspberry Pi there. Now it's backing up the firmware of the device. Okay, so now we have a couple different options here. So if we look, zero is return to stock, one is flash Esperanto, uh, two is flash the full Ha boot, and three is flash Tasmodo. So if you're worried about breaking your device, I would suggest starting with Tasmodo uh, because that is the most tried and true so far. Uh, all these one run a risk. Now with the Raven System ESP HomeKit, uh, it is not as well used yet, but I would say that it is becoming more popular. So you're going to be risking your device and I'll show you some ways that I bricked my device in a few minutes.
So we're going to type in two and yes, we're going to do this point of no return. So now if you look at our device, it was flashing fast for a second and nothing's happening. It's going to be doing that going on and off for a few minutes or a few seconds. So now you should be disconnected from the VTrust flash on your device. So next you want to open up a new web browser. Go to 192.168.4.1 and then hit enter. And if it doesn't work the first time, that means you just have to wait five or ten more minutes till it does work. Did I mention the waiting is one of the most stressful things when you do this? And actually I did something wrong here. So uh, what we need to do is disconnect from our network. And so we need to do that so our Wi-Fi adapter will just go to this one particular device. So we look for HAA-whatever your device is. Click on that. Click on connect. And then that will bring us to the home accessory architecture installer. So now we need to do two things here. So first we need a JSON file. Now if we go back to Tasmoda, we can see here are the GPO pins. And so we need to convert that into something for Raven systems. So now I sort of did trial and error on the files and that's how I bricked two of these. And then I actually went to the Raven Core Discord channel, which I can't show you right now because I am in, uh, now I'm attached, the Wi-Fi is attached to the plugin. So if we go back to the installer, we're going to copy and paste the JSON file in the description and plug it in right there. And so this plugin, if somebody who knows about this more than me, uh, the bottom button will work and you can use that to reset it. Top button doesn't work or flash. So uh, this is a preliminary one. That's why I said don't try this. But if you do know these things, definitely leave down in the description how we can get both buttons working. Then scroll down and connect to your network and put in your password. Make sure you put it in properly because it's much harder if it's not in properly. Scroll back up and click save. Now your device will reboot again and it should connect to your network if you put in your password right. So we're going to reconnect everything to our network while this is doing that and then we can look at our device from our router. So there we've lost our connection. So we're going to re-enable our network settings. Now if we go, go to our router now, and here you can see is our new device. Uh, for some reason, it didn't take the name. So the first time I did this, I called it the WT, I called it a WP2. Uh, it should be called the same thing, but it's not currently. And sometimes it does that, and sometimes it doesn't. So this is again a little finicky. So let's go to our HomeKit app and add in this, these devices. So we're going to hit the plus sign. Now we're going to go to the Raven Systems HomeKit setup page and it has a code there. So let's copy that. We're going to enter in the code manually. And there is our device. So click on that. Click add anyway. And then we're going to add this to our back office. Click next. Good night. Next. Now this is a switch which doesn't really do anything. So we're going to add this to unused. Click next. And then here is our other outlet. Going into back office and next and good night. And done. And so now you can see we have two new uh, switches there that aren't on. So I have this salt lamp plugged into one of the ones. I don't even know if it's on or not. So let's see. Oh, there we go. And so it's that one there. So the number two on here is the number two on here. Pretty instantaneous. And do the number one. Good. 
so now, like I said, this is something you shouldn't try if you don't know what you're doing or you just don't care like me. Uh, but one of the things when you, so if you move the switch to another outlet uh, or the power goes off, you're going to have to reset it. And so you do that right now by pressing the bottom button for about six seconds. And then it will start flashing. The top one won't flash. And then log into your router and find the IP address and go to that IP address. And there will be a switch to reset your Apple HomeKit ID. So that's how you flash a device to first to Tasmodo and then to uh, Raven System ESP HomeKits. Not for the faint of hearts. And make sure you have more than one device just in case things go wrong. If you want a less dangerous way of doing this, just do the regular Tasmodo because I've also done that. That works fine. You just need something to translate it so then you can use it in your device, either HomeKit or Home Assistant. Before we leave, the winner of the giveaway is the Rast Hoth Hothaman from Norway. And you can see his thing down below. He said he was going to use his automation to say hi to his kids. That's pretty cute. Uh, if you didn't win today, I'm going to be doing a Another giveaway probably in a week with an Android TV device. We're actually giving away three. Uh, they sent me some. So make sure you watch for that video. And that's it for today. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.